What's going on, everyone? So, Jean Morant and the Memphis Grizzlies are expected to be back this season and be back in the top of the standings in the Western Conference, right? Uh, this year, you should get a full year of Ja. Uh, obviously, he ended up uh, getting in his own way. It's probably the, the best way to put it, um, which I hope he stops, right? This guy is such an unbelievable talent. This guy should be up there in the conversations on face of the league once, you know, the, the current wave of guys end up scaling out. And he just keeps just getting in his own way, tripping over his own feet. And it's just, I hope that he can kind of let the past be the past. You know, stop recording stuff. <laughs> like, if you're going to do stuff, you don't have to record it, right? If you're going to do silly things, Keep it off the internet, right? Like, it's just, use your brain, common sense, right? Especially when you've done it several times. But nonetheless, right? I want to see this guy have success. He is so unbelievable. You know, and I talk about it all the time. I hate to see just players and celebrities and people that have reached these heights just get in their own way, right? Like, seriously, we see it so often. It's crazy how many just, you know, people that have won in life, just have to find a way to, to to ruin it for themselves. You know, people are always their worst enemy. But again, Jean Morant, one of the best talents in the league when he's on and healthy. Now, he did miss uh, some of the season last year due to injuries, right? Because he came back and got hurt. But that's also because of his foolishness, right? If it wasn't for his foolishness, then he would have gotten a proper training camp and a proper, you know, he would have been able to use the facilities. Because remember, he couldn't use the facilities. He couldn't do anything. He couldn't, he had, he basically just had to work at his local Y. So he wasn't able to stay and be conditioned to the way that he needs to be um, for, for the actual NBA and NBA games. And of course he comes back and he gets hurt, right? So hopefully now again, stay out of his own way but also be able to put himself uh, and back into those conversations, back into those talks, and kind of get Memphis back into the standings again. Because, look, I mean, they drafted Zach Eady. That was a huge pickup for them. You know, no pun intended, because he is a huge guy. Uh, but beyond that, right, like, Zach Eady gives them now that big physical presence that they just didn't have, right? Last time they were in the playoffs was against the Lakers, in which they lost in the first round. And a lot of that was just their lack of size. You know, Anthony Davis and LeBron James, they just they didn't have that interior presence. You know, and as good as Triple J is, you know, he's not this big, uh, big body center um, to where you can count on him to, to just hold it down, right? I mean, he is, you know, he's 6'10", right? But he's not 7'3", 300, right? <laughs> like, or whatever Zach Eady is, so... And I do, and, and the beauty of Zach Eady, too, is he is a, a ready-now prospect. He is looked at as the most ready-now prospect. Him and guys like Dalton Connect are expected to have that immediate impact, which, again, Memphis is in a position where they want to win a championship. They want to be in the conversation. They want to be one of those top teams in the Western Conference this year. Uh, and so Zach Eady, I do think, actually puts them uh, better in that conversation. He's a guy that probably go get you 15 to, depending on his usage, I wouldn't even be surprised if he was able to go get you 20. Um, you know, but I think like, you know, like 15 and eight, somewhere in that ballpark. Cause I'm curious to see how much they play Zach Eady at the five, but the beauty of triple J is you can slot him alongside Eady. So that can go a long way too. But Zach Eady is a guy that, you know, you, is probably again, depending on his, playing time, usage rate, things like that, probably wins, uh, you know, rookie of the year this year. And, you know, I just think he makes, again, I th thought this was the best pickup Memphis could have gotten, right? When Memphis went and drafted Zach Eady, it was like, it was surprising because Zach Eady was looked at to go in like, you know, like he was projected to basically be where um, the Lakers ended up drafting Dalton Connect, right? That 15 to 17 range. And so... You know, it was a bit surprising, but it was like, out of all the teams in the top 10, that's a team that definitely makes sense, right? They're trying to win now, trying to make an impact immediately. They don't want some young development guy that's going to take, you know, three to five years to to really get to where they need him to be. No, they, they want that guy now that can come in and have an immediate impact. Um, Memphis did lose 
you know, uh, Gigi Jackson, right? So that hurts. Um, but I still think that they'll be, I still think that they're going to be fine, right? Gigi, uh, I do think hurts, right? He was very promising. He's kind of their young, young buck type guy that is really kind of emerging. And especially when basically the entire Memphis roster was hurt, Gigi was out there just cooking folks uh, early on. So he's a guy that has a lot of promise going forward. But, you know, like Memphis is a team that, yes, they look very different, right? You know, Marcus Smart, can he stay healthy? I right? kind of go down the list, right? They don't have, um, you know, Tyus Jones anymore. So again, that's more of the reason why they need Ja to be the best version of Ja, right? Like, but, you know, they, they obviously don't have Dylan Brooks anymore, right? So this is a different team from several seasons ago when, you know, they were in the playoffs against the uh, Lakers. But still, like, you look at this team now and it's like you still have all the key core pieces that you want and need, right? Yeah, you added Zach Eady, so you got bigger, which is a huge thing that they needed to do. Um, You know, and you still have guys like Aldama, who he's had moments and stuff. You were able to keep Luke Kennard. um, But um, Brandon Clark, he should be back, but you got Desmond Bain, right? Um, you, You just, you have enough pieces to be in that conversation. You have enough players and talent along with that that star in Ja who can really kind of carry you into that into that playoff area. Now, are they a contender? That I'm not really willing to go there um, personally. Right? Could you know you, you get the right matchups and and the ball kind of fall your way a little bit, and all of a sudden you look up and you're in the conference finals, and then in the um, NBA Finals, sure, right? I mean, it's very possible. I mean, look at, I mean, even Dallas, right? You know, to their credit, but there were times and stretches this season where it was like, are they even going to be, are they even going to make the playoffs again? Are like, they, 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 they had stretches this year where they looked terrible, but they were able to stick with it. They were able to stay on it. And lo and behold, you pull off trade or two, boom, all of a sudden they're in the playoffs, they're cooking in the playoffs. Get get the right matchups along the way. Boom, they're in the NBA Finals. They they ran into Boston, who was the best team all year, but still, like they they were in that hunt. They were in that conversation. And then, could Memphis kind of follow suit? Could Memphis be a team that again makes the playoffs, kind of gets the right matchups? Jaws kind of doing his thing. Zach Eady being an immediate impact player. You no know, Triple J if he can be that legit two-way guy, right? Like, you just, they have tools. But it all hinges on Ja, right? Everything boils down to Ja Marie. Now, the the Grizzlies go as far as he takes them. You know, and if he just, if he can just, again, get right, get his body right, because that's the thing. Like, it's not easy to just take time off, right? And, you know, I mean, you see it all the time in sports, right? Like, guys, you know, will, will, take a year off or something like that, come back, and they're just, they're not the same. They just don't look as good. Or even guys like Jordan. Jordan takes, he comes back, right? He still was great. I mean, Ja was still great when he came back. He's hitting game winners, doing all kinds of stuff, but you saw him wear down, right? You saw him and his body start to crumble because he wasn't able to condition and and do the things that you need to to kind of keep your 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 body right to to be ready for the season, right? And then now you got to come back 30 games in or whatever, 25 games I think it was, and then it's like now you're trying to to make up for lost times. You're trying to make this push to get back into the playoffs. You're overexerting yourself in ways you're not, you don't have the luxury of, of you know, pacing yourself and it just, oh, next thing you know, it's like, oh, well, there you go. Now, now the season's officially over. And, you know, the Grizzlies are a team that, they're look, they're exciting and fun to watch. And I'd like to see them kind of continue that. Uh, but we'll see. As always, this is a discussion. I pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel? What are your thoughts? Um, do you like uh, the Memphis Grizzlies this year? Do you think that they're going to make some noise? Do you think, like, ah, nah, like, you know, they'll, they'll be a playoff team. Um, but that's about it. Do you think that they have a chance to, to win a chip and be a contender? What do you think of Zach Eady? Um, do you think Ja Morant will kind of get out of his own way? However you feel, whatever your thoughts are, I'd love to hear it. So let me know down in the comments below. That being said, 
If you haven't liked this video, hit that like button. Helps me a lot. Helps me enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. Not subscribe channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notifications. Appreciate y'all. See you in the next one. Thank you.